Hello everyone, for this blog post I'll show you how to create association rules in RapidMire. First thing you need to do is um, choose a text file or multiple text files that you want to run the association rules on. If you want to choose multiple files, you're going to have to use the loop files operator and then double click on it and then you want to add the read document. Um, operator and once you do that you can choose your uh, file folder so I'm just gonna choose one I use for my project so go in here all right it's got a bunch of uh, text files in it next thing you need to do is use the process documents operator then you're gonna want to double click on that then you're going to want to transform everything to lowercase. Then you're going to want to tokenize. All right. At any uh, non-letter that will split up um, all the uh, words in the document. At any non-letter point. Then you're going to want to filter out stop words or just like common words such as the, a, and, and then you want to filter token by length and make sure you're all connected and you're going to want to minimum character of two so that that will get rid of any one letter words all right and maximum character just some big number so you can just get all the other words you want to go back up all right, you're going to want to create a word vector. You're going to want your vector creation to be binary term occurrence. Then you need to use the numerical to binomial operator. All right, make sure you get that all hooked up. All right, then you need the FP growth operator. You're gonna to want to choose. We're gonna choose a minimum support of 10.10, so 10% in order that we can get a lot of associations. And you're gonna to want to use the create association rules operator. All right, get that all lined up. Okay. So we're going to loop our files, we're going to process all these documents, then it's going to change the data from numerical to binomial. Yep, the FP growth operator, as you can see in the description, efficiently calculates all frequent item sets from the given data, then we'll create the association rules with a minimum confidence of 0.08, then we're going to let it run. Nope. All right, that didn't take too long. All right, switch to perspective. All right, then you'll get all the associations. So I use uh, data from uh, reviews on a video game. So as you can see, game is one of the uh, in, uh, data about the review or some of the associations. You can sort the data, lift, is a term that if the words are very well associated they're going to have a high lift so if you felt um, organize everything with a high lift then that will give you very high associations also you can do it just by some of the words you can also look at it in graph view As you can see, game has a lot of associations with it, so it's been used a lot in these documents. But that's pretty much it. We'll just uh, review what we did. We looped our files, read the documents inside the loop file operator. So loop files, you just chose a directory, process documents, double click in there, transform everything to lowercase, tokenize it in all letters. Filter out stop words, filter tokens smaller than uh, 2, 
go back up went from numerical to binomial use the FP growth with a uh, point one that gives us a lot of associations create our association rules go back to our results as you can see it's very easy alright this is just for this blog post thank you very much